Good morning, welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. Yes, I realize it's been quite a while since I posted on here. I'm so sorry about that. Life has just been crazy busy and, you know, life. So it's been a while and if you're new around here, hello, welcome, my name is Sierra. I'm an American who lives in England and I make videos about my family's life here or whatever it is I'm excited about or in the moments when I sit down to film. In today's video, as you guys can tell, we're starting off the new year. Well, this video will probably go up before New Year's Eve, but we're starting off the new year with the Lush Kitchens January 2024 box, which is very, very exciting. So I didn't do the December box because we were away and I knew that there was no way that I'd be able to get everything together and then um, like edit the video in time. So I decided to skip last month's box, which I was kind of sad about. And then because I was away, I actually missed the voting for the January 2024 box, which is this box. So what that means is I have absolutely no idea what is in here. I'm sure it'll be good because it smells like joy and happiness. Um, and of course the bright green makes me happy as well. So we're gonna open up this box and we're gonna see what is inside. So first thing out of the box is this little cute card. It's got a little sun on it. And on the other side, it says rise and shine. And I'm not gonna read any more because I don't wanna spoil it. But because this is the rise and shine box, I'm gonna guess that just based by the smell, it's gonna have a lot of citrus scent. So I'm thinking like oranges, lemons, limes, maybe some bergamot in there. Maybe they'll have some florals in there, you know, to just kind of like wake us up. But if you live in the UK or if you visited the UK or really anywhere too far north in the winter, it is really, really dark and cold and gross. And I don't know about those of you who live in the UK or live in the north of other countries, but in the winter, it is really difficult for me to get up, especially in January because Christmas is over and it's just dark, it's cold, it's gross. Actually, even though Christmas has just gotten over, I've been sleeping until almost 9.30 in the morning, which is not usual for me. In the summer, I'm up usually like half seven because the sun wakes me up. But anyways, let's get into this box. Uh, I've got my little instructions here. I'm just put it to the side and let's get going. Woo! Okay, so first part of the box is a bath bomb. It looks like this and it is the ochre bath bomb. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Let me just give it a smell. Oh, that smells really good. I think this is Australian inspired. Actually, is that mint in here? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but it is according to the instructions is scented with lemon myrtle oil, Brazilian orange oil, sandalwood oil, gardenia extract. And that's it. Okay, why do I smell mint then? Maybe it's the sandalwood that's like throwing me off, but there's also something about this that smells like really sweet, almost like vanilla creamy in the inside. I don't know what it is, but it smells um, like 11 out of 10. So I think after this, I'll be taking a bath, but wow. Um, okay, so even if the rest of this box is a flop, I'll be really like, happy because that bath bomb, amazing. Okay, moving on to the next item is a Oh, it's a big shower gel. It's a 250 gram bottle and it is the Slammer shower gel, which I think Slammer used to be a bath bomb. So let's open it up and give it a smell and then I'll tell you the ingredients. Oh my goodness, that smells. Not like I remember it, but very refreshing and really, really good. Okay, so as you can see, it's got like the, it's almost the same color as the Tai Tai um, shower gel. I think that came out in the kitchen a year or so ago. Um, it's very thin, which is great because theoretically with the thin shower gels usually can like double as shampoo, which I really love. I don't actually know if that's recommended with all shower gels, but I know some of them it says you can use them on your hair. So if your hair is not super picky, I say give it a try and see what happens. This one does not say specifically that it's okay for hair, but I'm going to give it a try anyway and then we'll see what happens. So according to the ingredients, it is scented with lime peel and ginger root infusion. Okay, maybe that's what I'm smelling that just smells like really fresh. I really love ginger. That's one of my new favorite obsessions with Lush. I used to not be a ginger person and now suddenly I am because of that stupid ginger ninja. Well, not stupid, but because of the ginger ninja that came out in the exclusive in Japan when I was living there. Your fault, Lush. You know you planned this, didn't you? Anyways, other ingredients are um, fresh seawater, fresh lime juice, lime oil, Listeria cubeba oil, Sicilian lemon oil, and that's it. So smells really good really refreshing and really excited to try it. All right, moving on to the next item in the box. It appears to be, ooh, it's a black pop product and it is the, oh, again? Oh my gosh, that's amazing because mine is almost gone. It is the Tropical Fruit Body Lotion, which smells like jungle, or at least jungle smells like tropical fruit, tropical fruit smells like jungle. You know what I mean? It used to be a conditioner, it's incredible. It also came out as a perfume in the kitchen um, sometime last year, so let's open it up and make sure it's still the same scent. Oh my gosh, it is just so good. Jungle was actually one of the first ever um, like Lush products that I tried. I found Lush really early in my zero waste journey and 
I needed a salad conditioner and I fell in love with the smell. So just to recap, ingredients in jungle. As I said, it just kind of smells like a fresh jungle. I know that's really specific, but it does say in the ingredients list that it's scented with almond oil, cocoa butter, cypress oil, cedarwood oil, ylang ylang oil, and vetiver oil. So all really like nice, like uplifting things. So this is gonna be amazing. And I can see what they're doing here because in the UK in the winter, the weather is gross. So they're trying to make us think that we're on a tropical holiday, which I am totally okay with. All right, moving on to the next item is, <gasps> guys, this is like a vintage. Well, this isn't vintage, but like the product is retro. It is the retro vintage up you get shower bomb, which, I have not seen a shower bomb in forever. I think they had the two drunk shower bomb sometime in the kitchen last year, but I missed that box. But oh my gosh, so these are great. These were um, a thing and kind of were phased out when I first became a Lushy in about 2016. Basically what they are is they're a shower bomb. So you put it in the bottom of the shower and you let the water kind of like hit it and it releases like this amazing like smell um, and fills the entire shower. Actually in my house it fills like the entire bathroom and part of the bedroom because I live in a house that has like a ensuite shower. But anyways let's look how cute this is. It's a little person like jumping out of bed. I'm gonna give it a smell. I remember it being citrusy so let's see. Oh yeah, definitely has lemon myrtle, I think. Maybe it's lemongrass. Actually, I think it's lemongrass. So let's check the ingredients officially. It is scented with lime oil, grapefruit oil, Sicilian lemon oil, and that's it. Okay, well I definitely smell the lemon. I don't know why I thought that it was lemongrass, but I guess together all of these scents make kind of like a lemongrassy type smell, but oh boy, so exciting. And once again, this is going to be great because in the winter in the UK, I just cannot get myself out of bed. So hopefully on like a really difficult morning in the shower, I can enjoy this and it'll make me really happy to start my day. So awesome. And it looks like there's just one more item in my box, which is really sad, but it is the A Little Monkey Bubble Bar, which looks like this, which is something again is another vintage I never got a chance to try when I was a young Lushy. Um... I think it was discontinued right before then, but I've heard that it smells like bananas and it's really good. And actually there's a little piece of dried banana in it and it's really cute. So let's give it a smell. Yeah, I think it definitely smells like I would expect to smell like bananas. So according to the ingredient list, a little monkey bubble bar is scented with, well, one of the main ingredients is fresh fair trade bananas and gardenia extract and laudanum resinoid and has a dried banana slice on the top so basically yeah it smells pretty much just like bananas now one thing oh my little thing just fell out so i guess i kind of want to eat it but i also know that's a really bad idea anyways um because this has fresh bananas in it one of the tips i was given by someone in my lush store when i lived in the states i think it was in maryland maybe it was dc can't remember but anyways one of the tips that someone gave me in a lush store when i was living in the states is that if something has like mashed bananas or like mash any kind of fruit that you need to use it pretty quickly because sometimes they can go moldy on you which is really gross so i'm probably going to use this in the next couple of days definitely within the next couple of weeks because otherwise i don't want to have any molding issues but yeah those of you who are getting the kitchen box if you get this one make sure you use it pretty soon because the bananas get kind of weird and also because it is fresh banana i mean the fresh banana scent can only last so long so enjoy it while you can so that is everything that was in the box for the january 2024 lush subscription unboxing for the uk it should be the same in the states and i'm not sure but they are officially merging so the boxes should hopefully be the same fingers crossed but anyways this one that i feel like was especially fun to open because i had no idea what would be in the box um maybe i'll skip the vote again next month and just see what's in there i don't know let me know in the comment section if you think i should vote or not and just see what comes i don't know this is kind of fun but my favorite item in the box is probably the up you get shower bomb because I have always been wanting to try them. And I only one I've ever tried is the Too Drunk one, which is peppermint, which smells amazing. So I'm really excited about that. And then my least favorite probably is the um, Monkey Bubble Bar, just because the fact that it's one of those products that you can't really save, which they do say Lush products you should use within six weeks for like best results, but there's definitely not really a way I can save this. So I am going to enjoy it, but I'm knocking it down to least favorite just because I'm kind of rushed on it. But anyways that's everything that was in my box if you guys have any questions about them you can let me know in the comment section also if you got your box let me know which items were your favorite which ones do you say are like uh, like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next video um happy new year bye